Hello everyone. With the recent news of Mr. Satoru Iwata's passing, uh, I thought I would go back this week and play some of the games that he worked on. Kind of some of my old favorites and maybe some ones I've never played before. And I figured the best place to start off, for me at least, would be Kirby's Dream Land on a Game Boy. Obviously the old classic black and white Game Boy. Uh, probably looks a little cleaner on the PC than it maybe was muddied on the original Game Boy. Uh, but essentially, uh, he was not the creator of Kirby. That is credited to another individual. However, apparently it was his idea to make Kirby's Dream Land originally. Which uh, was absolutely one of my favorite games as a kid. Uh, it basically was my kind of go-to on any car ride or anytime I needed to just pass some time. So if you're not familiar with Kirby or Mr. Watts' work, this will kind of be a little bit of a, uh, well, kind of an interesting trip down memory lane or exploring places maybe you weren't around to visit at the time. Oh jeez. Uh, so I've probably beaten this game, oh god, I don't know, like, I mean, literally talking 20, 30 plus times. However, I have not played it in ages now, which is probably pretty apparent here. It's certainly not going to be any sort of speed run. All right, you're going to hop over here and back, okay. Yeah, so it's hard finding credits uh, for him on this. Um, he's not actually in the game's credits. Um, I've come up with him being either a programmer or the producer on it. I uh, was still working at HAL Labs at the time, which is obviously uh, where Kirby originated. But uh, yeah, I can't find any concrete info on exactly his role in this, other than the fact that it was basically his idea. Um, and Sakurai was actually the creator of Kirby. And Iwata was, you know, he kind of had the idea of making a more casual, friendly game. Essentially, Kirby was designed to be, of course, as I'm about to die here, uh, was designed to be a game that anybody could play, basically. And, you know, for the most part, I think Kirby's always kind of got a little bit of a reputation of being an easier set of games, but I'm not sure that's always the case. So if you're unfamiliar with Kirby, and if you are, oh my goodness, please go play all of them. Uh, you are this cute little puffball. It was actually pink, although it's kind of funny, um, the original... Use... No, you can't use the air blast on Wispy Woods here. Uh, the original box art for the US version of Kirby's Dream Land actually has him as white because, well, people that made the box art didn't realize that he was actually pink and not black and white. Kind of a silly little mix-up there. Yeah, he was, he is intended to be pink here, but of course the, uh, I always love the Kirby dance. Simple amusement of things. I, you know, I've never really looked up the, the originations of this, but the Castle Lolo Lo thing always kind of amused me. Um, because, you know, there's the adventures of Lolo and, and things like that, and I never quite put the microphone here. I never quite understood if that was supposed to be intentional, or if that was... You know, what the whole deal with that was. So I probably don't remember all the secrets... ...in the original Kirby's Dream Land, but there are a couple of hidden things here and there. I know somewhere in this area there is a Super Lollipop, which is basically the equivalent of a, uh... ...Mario Star. Alright, here's Lolo Lo. Not to be confused with Lolo, even though he's obviously pushing those uh, treasure chests or gem blocks or whatever they were. I actually never played the adventures of Lolo as a kid. Now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder. That must have been a HAL developed. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Are there. Huh. That's strange. Are there power-ups in those? I didn't think so. 
So is that the end? I think that's just a health refill up there. Let me check. Oh no, it is the... The super item. Or one of the super items. This is kind of like a super curry or something, I think. Makes some spit fire. But it does not give you invincibility. And what's interesting, too, is, um... This level is not in the Kirby Superstar version of uh, Kirby's Dream Land. There's, in Kirby Superstar, there is Spring Breeze, which is essentially a recreation of Kirby's Dream Land. However, this level is not in it. And I'm not sure if that was like a licensing thing with the, you know, low, low character, but this is the only place you'll actually see it on the original. And it's kind of interesting, because I mean, I definitely don't remember this level much at all, other than this part. The obvious boss battle here. Low, 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 and la, la, la. I think each of them have three health. Um, I don't think it's shared. I'll sneak up behind him here. There we go. So that goes low, low. Oh, I missed. There we go. She got two health left. I've got two health left. Yeah, so in the original Game Boy were three Kirby games. Um, or three main Kirby's Dream Land games. Ah, alright. I got getting a little sidetracked here. There we go. I should do it. Nice. We should get a star and a Kirby dance here. And I watched it. wasn't actually uh, credited with the other two, but not this one. There was also uh, Kirby's Pinball, Kirby's Block Ball. There's a lot of games on the original Game Boy. Yeah, don't inhale fish hooks, Kirby. Here we are in Float Islands. Nice tropical, upbeat area. Watch out for coconuts and bombs. Kirby can swim, but you gotta be careful about, uh... Having something... Oh! Having something in your mouth when you hit the water. Also, in the original Kirby, he didn't have copy powers or anything like that. I think that was, um... I think that was Kirby's adventure on the NES that first originated that concept. Careful, please. Oops. Coconuts here. What was kind of interesting to me about Kirby, too, is the fact that, you know, he has no... It's a platforming game, but he essentially has unlimited platforming of a sense. You know, he can fly at any time. And for an unlimited amount of time, for that matter. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna need a block or something here. There we go. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, the good old respawning enemies. That's actually a nasty trap there with that coconut falling down. The game is fairly lenient. There should be a, s a door here, yeah. The game is fairly lenient in terms of, you know, health pickups and things like that, but it certainly plays a few tricks on you, too. Is there health on this side? No. Ah, oh, these damn Gordos. I never understood why they were called Gordos. I mean, in Spanish, I think that's... A, thinking correctly, that's the Spanish word for fat, I think? Or large, perhaps? I never understood why they were called Gordos. I mean, you do that little downward, uh dive there. You actually will do damage to things below you. Oh, here we go. There's another fire curry. Or whatever it actually is. But I think it's a curry. And I don't know if this, uh, this musical theme is ever used again. In fact, I don't even think the curry item is in uh, Spring Breeze, either. Oh, that's right, too. And if you go in the water, it actually puts you out. It actually ends the, the fire effect. As if you were actually on fire. 
launch after this cannon, which I get hit by anyway. Here we go, star time. <laughs> oh, poor whale. I think Kirby's Adventure also has a, uh... Oh, that's right, I forgot about this power-up, too. Was this part in Spring Breeze? I don't recall. A little bit of a, uh, shooter section. Kinda seemed to be a thing that they like to do in some of the, uh, the early Game Boy games. Like, uh, the original Mario Land, um, the last stage is actually, um, entirely a, a shooter section like this. It's strange, that, uh, that stage actually doesn't really have much of a, a boss to it. Uh, bubbly clouds. So we're going up against Krakos here. It's interesting because to, to think about just how short this game really is, um, you know, when you're actually just going through it. Um, I'm only 11 minutes in here and we've only got a couple of stages left. Oh god, don't, don't try to inhale those guys. They're so happy until you try and do that. But uh, yeah, Kirby, the original Kirby's Dream Land is actually a very, very short game. But I, I can't even imagine the number of hours I must have put into it as a kid. And I don't even think it took me that long to beat it originally. It was just, it was such a fun game to just replay kind of all the time. Maybe that was its strength, just in... You know, it was a game, if you, if you had half an hour, you could go through it and just beat the whole game. Kind of get that a sense of accomplishment and fun. It's not, you know, it's not really a stressful game. It's pretty... Well, relatively easy. I might actually lose a life here. And I want to say there was, um... There's like an extra mode or something. I don't know if it was like a hard mode or like a, you could loop around. I'm trying to remember now, but I can't. I think there was a code. Like if you held a couple of buttons on the start screen, you could. It was either like a hard mode or you could just start again after completing it. Something like that. Actually, I have to be really careful here. I've only got uh, one hit left. And I don't know if there's any power ups in here. Oh, I think there's a hidden door somewhere here. Yes, there it is. And we get the, uh... The flying power up again. Here we go. Oh, jeez. You actually get a little bit of pushback here, too, when you fire. There's a one-up. I think there's some more. Oh, here's uh, our first form of Krakos here. I always do this kind of looping pattern. There we go, kind of like a little figure eight. And I'll drop an enemy. Very easy. But he's just a mini boss, of course. Into the clouds we go. Here's another leaf power up. Not sure if that was the inspiration for the, the Mario leaf, but uh, could have been actually. A bit of Game Boy slow down there. That's not actually uh, my computer or the recording. That was just kind of part of the original game. Back when you had the uh, oh geez, kind of that old NES slow down type of thing too. Too many sprites being drawn at once. Now I know that ah, it's oh here's another fire. I forget how many of these power ups there were in the original Kirby. Although I do remember this part, and, and uh, constantly butting up against the blocks there. I don't think that's a hidden passage. Huh, it's strange that you can eat that block though. Now I know for a fact there's a hidden section in here. Um, and I think it's all the way to the top. Yeah, if we go into this moon, I believe. Yes, there it is. 
Uh, and you'll fall here, and I think there's like a one-up, but you actually have to catch it. Before it goes off the bottom of the screen. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Ah, I'm not gonna catch it though. And this brings you to the boss battle. Here's Krakos in his full form now. Oh, he did actually uh, drop an enemy. He doesn't always do so. There we go. He's actually probably one of the harder bosses in the original Kirby game. It's a little unpredictable. He also, I think he has the lightning attack in this game. I'm actually kind of damage racing him here and, and losing. Ah. But I gotta find a way to get some... Um... Oh, this'll do it. I thought he had the lightning attack in this game, but maybe he doesn't. Hmm, he never actually did it. This is actually the final stage. Again, you know, only 16 minutes in, but here we are. And what do we have but a boss rush? So let's start, we'll go in order. Let's start with Wispy Woods here. And in each uh, boss door, you actually have a very, very small version of the level they were housed in. Oh, that's right, you have, to, you have to like touch a dancing Kirby and it clears the door. It's, yeah, kind of a weird thing. And you also don't get the boss music, you get their, uh, the stage theme instead. You can see too, um, might not come across as well in video, but Kirby's kind of got this, like, sliding movement too. He's got a little momentum like Mario. Alright, let's go to Lolo and Lala. Nope. Angry Mask. Always reminded me of the, uh, the Mario 2 Angry Mask. That would be the, uh, here's the Dancing Kirby. The US Mario 2, that is. You can actually also, you probably saw me do it too, you can actually swallow uh, enemies or blocks in this if you just want to get rid of the item, but it doesn't actually give you power ups. Yes, yeah, so they do have three health each. I think I have. I don't know, I thought I had two hits each there, so we should be able to get him here. There we go. And as far as I know, the refights are exactly the same. Um, they aren't any harder or easier. Got a bit of a boat here. No, we're gonna ignore you. And, uh, down we go. Oh, that's right, you can suck up two enemies too, and it actually gives you, um... I thought I gave you a more powerful star. Oh, jeez. Yeah, Gordos are one-hit kills in uh, the original Kirby. I don't think they are in um, Kirby's Beyond the First, in fact, but they most certainly are here. So let's try that again without uh, just butting into him. And we should be getting our power up here momentarily. Yeah, there it is. You can actually hold the button here too, it's got auto fire by default. I'm not quite sure why the leaf does this though. Kind of a strange thing. There we go. Alright, so we got one left, we just got Krakos now. Uh, it's there... I thought there might have been. So this is just a big downward fall. You can actually, uh, I think if you stay here, you'll go all the way down, yeah. 
We found the Kirby very easily. And right into Krakos. Very, very short stage. So, let's try to uh, not fail this time. But I'm already not doing so well. Oh, here he goes. Yeah, so he does that little, like, jaunt across. And I could have sworn he, he did his lightning attack in the original, but... Maybe not. Maybe he just does that attack instead. If you don't fly there, though, it's very, very difficult to jump over him. You can, it's just not easy. Oh! Ah, uh, caught my- got myself caught there. I'm gonna stay in this corner, just to be safe. I don't let the enemies come to me. One more hit. Oh, and he's just gonna float across, so I got him. Nice. Alright, so now it's boss time. With the DDD theme, of course. Oh! Oh no, that's bad. It's gonna be damage. It's funny, as a kid, I always thought those uh, things on the side were actually spikes, but they're really just the ropes. Oh no! Ah, oh, he got me. We should start right there, though. Yeah, so now we got full health. Oh, gotta watch out, though. Uh, he's very quick, and we are not. Alright, you should smash here. The trick is kind of baiting him to use his hammer sooner. So you have space to pick up the star. There we go. You gonna jump here? Nope. I don't think he does his uh, his dash slide either in the original Kirby. There we go. We gotta get out of this corner. He gets a little more aggressive as time goes on. Oh yeah, he does do the slide. But he doesn't produce any stars when he does that. Alright, three hits left on him, two on me, though. One, really. Oh, that was an opportunity, I missed it. Don't want to get caught in that, that's a guaranteed hit. There we go. Oh, he immediately, alright, we got one more. This should do it. Nice. by DDD. Or is it Day Day Day? So what better thing to do once you collect all the stars of Dreamland? We'll obviously turn into a giant hot air balloon, carrying a castle, and drop food everywhere. Yeah, so 23 minutes to, uh, to finish there. Yeah, there's uh, Sakurai. Sunday rain. Yeah, there's uh, that was kind of one of those funny things back in the day. You know, a lot of... Uh, I don't think Sunny Rain is the person's actual name. I think a lot of these may be false names. At least that was a big thing kind of back then when people were kind of competing and they didn't want to lose programmers. But yeah, Iwata isn't actually credited here, but he is in fact should be. <clears throat> Either as a producer or uh, a programmer. So there's a little bit of my childhood, and perhaps a little bit of a tribute to Mr. Iwata. And I'll do some more of these this week. Play a few more games, some I haven't played. Bye bye. So, uh, I will see you soon. Oh, there we go! I knew it! I knew there was, yeah, I knew there was, uh, like, a hard mode or something there. In fact, let me see if I can do that right now.
Uh, I'm not gonna actually play through the hard mode. Oh no, I would have to actually reset and everything. Okay, well, there's the there's the quote unquote secret code if you wanted to play the extra game, the hard version of Kirby's Dreamland. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.